Hey everyone! So today I am at Anstey Hill um, and my friend told me that there were some wildflowers here that I could go paint and it took me ages to find this spot because she said it's just over the first hill. Well, it turned out she gave me the wrong car park so it took me a while to walk here but I've found these beautiful orange flowers which are behind me and I also ran into some people who helped me carry my stuff up here which was so nice um, so yeah I'm just gonna be doing a painting of this this beautiful orange flowers and gum trees scene behind me and um, oh, sorry guys there's a lot of flies out here um, yeah so uh, we're just gonna get started it's just a small canvas today thank goodness too because there's only about two hours of daylight and it's gonna take me an hour to get back to my car um i might just end up walking back in the dark i'm not too fussed but anyway um and uh yeah i uh, hope you like my hat <laughs> so uh the story behind it was i asked mom for a sombrero for my birthday i was picturing you know the the kind of neutral shade ones just with like a broad brim but um this is what i got <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> really adds some character to my vlogs. So uh, yeah, let's let's get started. We'll just start out by oiling the canvas and then we'll go straight into painting and hopefully we'll have a finished painting before the day's out. Here's a look at the spot that I've found. So you can see there's these beautiful big orange flowers and it's it's just a very good spot. So this is my easel and canvas and setup and I'm pretty excited. I feel like I've got a great spot for this painting. And so let the time lapse begin. Uh, so here I am just doing the prep work. I've already oiled my canvas just now and I'm just putting some of the paints out on the palette and I'm just going straight in with drawing up. As usual my drawing up is very basic shapes and, and nothing very detailed and I got a bit excited so I just started laying in some of the orange paint even though obviously that's not really needed till later but I, I was so excited to be using the colour orange because it's a colour that you don't really get to use a lot in landscapes. I was a bit confused by these cactusy plants because I didn't really know what ones I should make a feature and where they began and where they ended. They were just very challenging uh, because, yeah, there's just so so many of them. Um, it did become overcast and a bit windy, so I, I took off my hat and uh, eventually I got a little bit cold and put on a jumper. But, um, yeah, it was it was really nice and there was a lot going on there. So the trees in the background... I sort of got a little bit lost with that and it was quite late in the afternoon already when I got there so I didn't have a heap of time and uh, that does mean that I end up going back the next day to finish this painting. Okay so I've been here a little while but I've just decided I'm gonna pack up early because even though it's still pretty much broad daylight the sun will probably set soon and I don't want to be walking back to the car in the dark so I'll show you guys where I'm at with the painting and I think I'm gonna come back and finish it but it's probably about quarter way done um, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far so this is it so far um please ignore my sombrero in the background it got a bit windy out here and uh, yeah this is the area But yeah, so I'll come back to this one and I'll keep you guys updated. So I made it back and today is about 10 degrees colder, but it's actually warmer because the sun is out and it's not overcast. And I parked at the closer car park today, so I'm super excited it didn't take too long to get here. So let's get into the painting and finish it. All right, and we are back at the time lapse. And thankfully this particular day was beautiful and sunny and so it had blue sky and clouds. And so I'm able to add those in right now. And I'm really happy about that because I find that paintings that I do on a sunny day sell a lot better than the paintings that I do on a cloudy day. So super happy that the sunshine was out and it just also made the landscape look so good because, you know, the, the vibrancy of everything really like popped when the sun was on it. And, you know, there was a lot more contrast and shadows and it was just really nice. One thing I would do differently if I was to do this again, though, would be I would pay a lot more attention to where I put the GoPro because I feel like it's a bit unfortunate where I've placed the GoPro because the sunlight is hitting the canvas in such a way that you can't really see very well what I'm painting. And if I had to put the GoPro on the other side of me, I feel like you would have been able to see what I'm painting in better detail. So um, thanks for your patience with this because the time lapse is not 
all that exciting at this point in time but it was a beautiful day and this painting was very enjoyable to paint a little bit confusing where the cactuses are but I was determined to try and make it work you can see now that I'm getting pretty close to finished on this canvas and I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along it's really starting to take shape I'm in like the last quarter of the painting I think and yeah, I'm just adding in all the all the little details. There were some beautiful purple flowers around there, but you can't really see them in the actual time lapse. Um, so I, I went and added them anyway, but I did add more than there was there. Uh, but I just thought that they look good in the painting. So, you know, artistic integrity. And yeah, I just went through and tried to add all the little details. I just put some dots on the cactus leaves um, to represent the thorns because there was quite a lot of thorns and detail. So it's become quite sunny out here, but I have just finished the painting. I'm so excited. I don't actually know how long it took me to paint this because obviously I didn't get much done on it yesterday. I wasn't here for long before I gave up and walked back. And then today, I don't know how long I've been here for. So I actually don't know how long this one's taken me, but I'm super happy with the final result and I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I'm very, very pleased with how this has turned out. And um, I think it does look like the location. Here's a photo of my finished painting. If I was to do it again, I feel like I would do it a bit slower and add some more detail. It is kind of tricky to add details when painting in plein air, especially if you're trying to do it faster because then when it comes to adding details, you're just putting like wet paint on top of more wet paint and it just kind of slides around and it can be hard to get the colors to work and do what you want. I feel like if I was to do it again, I would probably do it on a bigger canvas because this one is quite small, so that makes it tricky to add in detail. But all in all, I'm very happy with this painting and it does actually look like the place that I was standing to paint it. Okay, so that's all for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.